everybody, and welcome to today's video on how to crimp an N-type connector onto a piece of LMR 400. So we're going to need uh, a piece of LMR 400. We're going to need the gold pin, the sheath, and the connector, as well as the AES 7248 and the AES 7244. In addition, I have a pair of wire cutters in case I make a mistake. You can always just cut it off and start over. Now today, uh, we're going to take the stripping tool first. What we want to do is we want to see uh, on this tool where it says cut one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the cable and push it all the way in to the crimping tool. We're going to push it all the way in until uh, the cable hits the end. Then we're going to take and press down on this half moon shape and spin the cable. And then you can see it strips the insulation off the cable very cleanly. So now we'll empty out that connector. And on the opposite side of the tool, we see it says cut two. And you'll notice there's a little deburring tool right in the end of uh, end of the tool. So we'll spin the cable in the deburring tool. This will make it a little easier to get the um, the copper pin on. And we see we have a nice little edge to put that on. Then we're going to, uh, on the cut two side, insert the cable and you'll see it's strips away the outer jacket like a pencil sharpener. Now we have a tool ready to accept the connector. So the next thing we're going to do, and I probably should have done this before, is take the sheath and put the sheath over the top of the dielectric. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the center pin, put that on the tip, and I like to hold the tip of the pin on with my finger, and then we're going to use the frontmost hole to crimp the center pin onto this cable. We'll crimp the center pin. We'll crimp the center pin until it releases. And you want to make sure that the tool is perfectly perpendicular so that you don't break the pin off. Now we see we have a good firm connection. I want to make sure to give this a little tug, make sure it's attached properly. We'll peel back the dielectric and then we'll take our, um, our connector, push this over the top and you want to press down until it's at the very top of the dielectric and then take your finger and feel and you should the the center pin should be recessed an eighth of an inch, just a tiny little bit. You should just feel the tip with uh, the tip of the center pin uh, with your finger. Now we'll take the sheath and slide it up, pushing all that dielectric back up. And we're going to use the largest holes in uh, our crimper. And what we're going to do is we're going to go as close to the base as possible. And then we're going to squeeze until it releases. This can be a little hard, depending. And then there we go. We have a perfectly uh, applied connector. Always give it a little tug test as well to make sure that it's on firmly. And then double check that your center pin is just recessed slightly. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much everybody for taking the time on how to imply an N-type connector on an LMR 400 cable. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support or leave a comment on this video and we'll be happy to reply. Thank you and have a great day.